Hi, this is Maggie from Design Code Debug Repeat. If you're a beginning programmer, a programming teacher, or if you just find this content interesting, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be posting lessons, tips, and cool programming stuff regularly. So this is a question that I get a lot from beginning programmers, and I'm going to run this program, which is broken, and show you the error that we get. It says uh, name numstars is not defined. And we're looking at line six in the program. So right here, numstars. Now, there are a couple of, I'll say misconceptions that are present in this example. And when I say misconceptions, I mean maybe ideas that have come from somewhere else, from another context, or just misunderstandings about what some of the syntax means. So I want to address two of the misconceptions that I think are present here. So the first one is, we have the error numstars is not defined. And that's on line six, which is this line, angle float equals degrees circle divided by num stars. So sometimes beginning programmers will say, but I have just defined num stars right here. And that's before this line. And this comes from a misconception or misunderstanding of the difference between annotating variables and defining variables. So Python is telling us that num stars is not defined. It is annotated right here. What we are saying right here is that num stars is going to be an integer when it is defined. And this is basically documentation. Python doesn't even check this. It doesn't check to make sure that when we do define num stars, that we define it as an integer. So this is for mostly for other programmers. It does get stored in a variable. So you can write programs that will check to make sure that variables are annotated correctly, but Python isn't making that check. And partly there is a misconception about flow of control. So for example, when we look at this line of code, angle equals degrees circle divided by num stars, what is the programmer thinking num stars is? What do you expect that degrees circle is going to be divided by when the only code that you have so far is saying that it is an integer? And so this brings me to what I think is another misunderstanding or, or transfer from a context that doesn't work in this case. So down here, we're getting a value for num stars. And I think maybe the idea is that we've defined an equation and that num stars will get plugged into that equation. And so I wonder if that sort of misconception comes from an idea like Excel, where I can put an equation in angle. I can say that it is degrees circle divided by whatever is stored in num stars. And I can put that in. It says divide by zero error, but I can put it in before I have a value in num stars. And then any value that I do put in num stars, this angle will update according to the equation. That's not how programming languages work. That's not how Python works. The way Python works is we have a sequential flow of control and the state of the program is constantly updating based on the lines of code as they execute. So we can say that angle is a float right here, but we can't define it. We can't give it a value until we have values for everything on the right hand side of the assignment statement. So we can bring that down here after we've gotten a value for num stars. Up here, we can annotate it saying eventually this is going to be a float. Down here, once we have a value for num stars in the flow of control, which is by default sequential, so top to bottom, then this calculation can take place. So actually quite similar to Excel, where before we had any kind of value here, we did get an error, divide by zero error. It's not the same error. It's not telling us 
that num stars is not defined, but that that is, uh, or it's defining it is zero. So when Python tells you that a variable is not defined, first of all, trust it. The variable is not defined. Second, ask yourself, did I annotate it but not give it a value? And then third, ask yourself, what value should it have and how do I get that value into it? So for example, in the case of degrees circle, which is a constant, we can assign it this literal value 360 right when we annotate it. So that is the first variable or constant to get a value in the flow of control of this program. Degrees circle is given the value of 360. Num stars does not have a value. It is not defined until it's on the left hand side of an assignment statement. And that remember is an equal sign. The assignment operator is an equal sign. So num stars has to be to the left of an equal sign. And of course we want that assignment statement to be meaningful. So you could give it a value, a hard coded literal value right here and then define angle, but that's not what the program is supposed to do. The program is supposed to get the number of stars from the user and then calculate the angle and then tell the user the angle for the number of stars that they've given you. So you need to make sure in the flow of control that the program is in a state or in other words, all of the variables have values such that each line of code is going to give you a meaningful result. When we execute the new version of the program, we don't get the error. We can put in a number of stars and we will get a result. And that's because both degrees, circle, and num stars are defined before we try to evaluate this expression and assign the result to angle. And remember that there is a difference between annotating and defining. Annotating is done with a colon and this isn't giving any kind of value to a variable. It's simply saying when I define this variable, it will be of this data type. And that's a really good habit to get into. First of all, it makes the code more readable so that if I come along and look at it and I see num stars, I can see what data type that that variable is. And second, it's a good habit when you're learning programming to make sure you really do understand what kind of data you are storing or associating with each variable. So when we define a variable, that's when it's on the left hand side of an assignment statement. And that's when it's actually getting defined and getting a value so that we can use it in an expression such as in this division or print it out. I hope you found this video useful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to talk about the video, please feel free to comment below and I will get back to you. Take care.